Hello everybody, my name is Clutch, I play Call of Duty, this is Call of Duty Ghost, episode, I believe, 5 of Russian Crush, and this game I'm going to be using the Vector, I dropped 38 kills for a TDM, it's not too bad to get 38, I mean, it's over half, actually, yeah, we'll say it's over half for the argument of it, so I dropped 38 with the Vector Russian, there's a nice double, there's like a 180 to 180 on, I think it's about halfway through, and I could have got a third 180 off of that, but I didn't know it was there, and he knifed me, so, press face. Anyway, guys, the topic for today is people have been asking me about this because I've told a few people that like we've had the problem. So the problem for today is nightmare neighbors. Now, I don't know how many of you have had this, if any of you, but I'm sure I'm pretty sure one or two of you have probably had this issue with neighbors. Now, we now for those of you who don't basically how the government work it, especially if you're not from the UK, you won't understand it. Pro probably won't understand what I'm on about. Um, you can be a council tenant. So basically, like, the council give you a house to live in, and you have to abide by, like, certain guidelines and whatnot. So, like, for argument's sake, no annoying neighbours. Like, I don't think you can have certain pets. Just general stuff. Like, every day, don't be a cunt rules. Um, now, there's nothing wrong with being a council tenant. I have nothing against anyone that is. Nothing like that. It's not like I'm out to... I'm not like I'm out, like, burn the fuckers. No, none of that. Um, the problem with this particular group is that this family are just knobs. Well, primarily the son's a knob, but the mother is also a knob. It, it's weird. So basically, there's like it, they have the father, the son, the son. The oldest son's like seventeen. The mother's a bitch. The father just well, the father's all right. He does he just doesn't really do anything. If you know what I mean, like he, he, he he's never been a problem, but he's never been a solution to the problem. Like you can't talk to the guy because he just goes well. well. Kids will be kids, and that's it. Like, you don't get anything from him. So, basically, like, we've had problems with him, like, revving cars up till, like, 2 in the morning, playing live music, um, just just being a knob. Like, abuse to my family, screaming stuff at us, all that kind of thing. Um, all different sorts of things. The mother, she just encourages him. Like, she literally encourages it to happen as well. Like, she just stands there. She does it, too. Every time she sees my dad, actually calls him a fucking knobhead. So, you know, that basically tells you who the kind of people we're dealing with. And... Like, we've had problems with like, We keep calling the police because you keep getting problems with them, like threatening people, like shouting abuse at my mum, upsetting my mum, intimidating her and all this stuff. And the police just don't seem... Well, it's not that they don't seem to care. They keep giving you the... Like, they send people out and everything, but they keep giving you the old, well, there's no evidence speech. And it's just... It's getting to a point... Like, it's getting to a point now where it's unbelievably annoying because I'm literally standing there seeing my mum upset, thinking there's nothing I can do. Like... I mean, arguably, I could go and lamp the kid, like, the causing the problems, but what does that really solve? I really, I don't see the point of that, because then I'll just end up on an assault charge, and then, what what does it prove? Like, it doesn't prove anything, so, I mean, I'm not going to bother getting in a fight with the guy over it. I mean, he was trying to start a fight with me yesterday, example. This is a primary example of what they're like. We get off a bus, right, the bus stops outside, right outside our house, because we know most of the drivers, so they generally will just be like, oh, drop you at the gate, no problem, right, cool. So... They live two houses away from us. Well, there's like, actually, no, sorry, there's like one house between us. So technically, they're the second house away. Um, so we get off the bus, I and he, the kid's out there fixing or doing something to his car because he can't, like, leave the shitty thing alone. He's just got to be there all the time. So I'm generally just, like, waiting at the gate for my mum to open the gate because I have all the bags. So I glance over in his direction. He sees me generally glance. Like, I was looking at something completely different. But he turns around and just goes, What are you looking at? I was like, I'm looking in that direction, mate. Like that, I'm not looking at you. I'm looking in your general direction. Like you happen to be in the way I'm looking. Like my head can only go left or right at this point. Like there's nothing else to, you know. Like so, he starts like giving it all the big guns about how he like how he knocked me out and this that, and the other. And I'm just standing there, and I mean, my mum's right there, and I'm just thinking, you're a knob, mate. Like he's literally giving me every swear word. There probably was a swear word in every other word. To be realistic about it, and I'm just standing there thinking to myself, "You sir, are a knob." Like, but the problem is with these people as well is if you if I went and like confronted the father, for example, if I went over there and said, "Look, your son's an idiot. It's a problem. What are we gonna do about it?" Like, he'll stand there and he'll go, "Yeah, well, he's got ADHD, so there's nothing we can do about it." Like, they hide behind this ADHD thing, saying he's uncontrollable and stuff. Well. Okay, fine, I understand ADHD is a thing, that, that's okay, but there's no excuse for shit parenting, realistically. There's just, there's just not. 
Because it's unbelievable. You can't go out your front door without them kicking off. And I mean, I said to my mum, this, the, you know, I mean, we've got this, this council thing, like the council are trying to do something about it, but it's, it's a situation where you feel like the council aren't actually doing anything because you don't see any action taken, if you will. I mean, they were handed a final warning about pff, nine months ago, and then they got handed another final warning, which I, I don't understand. And then I think it was June, I think it was, the end of June, they got issued with a third final warning. So they've had three final warnings, which to me just says the council aren't doing anything about it. Because I don't know how you can get three final warnings. Personally, I thought the concept of it was, it was a final warning. But, you know, the council just, are. Oh, they're just, oh, they, I'm getting really heated with the council now because they're not actually doing anything. Like, they don't seem to fix the problem. And, like, yesterday... As I say, when I got off the bus, he was out there beating on his chest, screaming, come on then, you mug, you're like the rest of your family. And I'm there like, what? Like, well, what, you want me to come and fight you in the street? Class act, mate. And I even said to him, like, what What does this solve? Like, what, what does fighting in the street solve? If I hit you first, I'm getting done up on assault. And I damn well guarantee if you swing for me, I'm doing you up on assault. So it, it was a pointless thing. Like, he was literally trying to bait me into going and lamping him so that he could call the police on me. Like, I, I'm not dumb enough to do that. Like, I don't, and I don't also, I don't see what it solves either. I mean, what does fighting in the street actually solve? The only way, I mean, I even told him, the only way I'm going to have a fight with you, mate, is if you come over here and swing first. You know, if you come up to me and start swinging, then fine. But other than that, what's the point? Like, I, I don't see it. But he's one of those people, unfortunately, that believes because you won't go and fight with him, He's the hard man, and you're a pussy, and it's it's ridiculous. It's just it's just childish. So anyway, guys, that's the story of the nightmare neighbors. Um, a few people have asked me to tell the story. Now you know, you know what I live with, and this is also why I've not been making some videos or some streams that I've said I'm gonna do, just because the noise is too prolific. Um, just generally for me to be able to make videos because you'll hear it, or for me to stream because you'll constantly hear it. Uh, hopefully it's gonna get fixed soon. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed. If you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. If you've enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.